All right, good day. Welcome to another smalljobsdenver.com video. Hey, today's video is a little handyman project here in Arvada, and uh, you know it's uh, sealing up these brick cracks. And so, uh, definitely something you don't have to do in Florida, but here in Colorado, yes, very, very important. And so, uh, this gentleman had uh, some new slabs poured, and, uh, and they've been curing, I guess. And now it's time to to go and do at least something here. All right, and we're gonna we're gonna clean this whole thing out. And see what we can do. Uh, he actually uh, just redid this last year, and it already failed. And so, you know, the trick's going to be making sure that that we get a good bonding surface on the, on the right side and the left side of this, you know, gigantic crack, and uh, and making sure that it can't push down. You know, like it has to be filled and packed. So I think I'm going to use expanding foam. You know, right now the way they do it is they're packing this stuff in here. And, uh, and it would take a quite a bit. So I think uh, I'm going to clean this up really nice, use expanding foam, dig out whatever foam bubbles up over the surface. And then I'm going to use a really nice uniform, maybe like half inch bead of some like super sealant. And uh, I haven't even picked that out yet, so I'll have to go look for it. All right, so uh, I'll come back here, uh, show you how it turned out. All right, smalljobsdenver.com. All right, welcome back, smalljobsdenver.com. Here's our little driveway ceiling. And uh, you can see that I actually cleaned this out, and it actually was a huge, it went down almost five inches. So definitely uh, we could pack all kinds of foam and stuff in here, but really quick foam. That uh, was my solution. Uh, and honestly, I think it's going to make a fantastic seal from one end to the other. Uh, the water actually has to get through the caulk, and then has to get through, you know, the foam in order to do major damage to this slab. So we'll see. Hopefully this will be a more permanent solution um, you know, for this gentleman. He actually uh, had, uh, had sealed it last year and it made it, made it one year. And so the whole fear is that, you know, if this fails consistently for more than a couple of years, these slabs will all start to crack. And he just spent a lot of money. He already has a crack. So here you can see that you know, very quickly being on this kind of a slope and coming, uh, having runoff from the building, uh, you know, this this is one of the most important cracks that make sure it's sealed. And the same deal here, you know, that's all that actually held up. So maybe we'll go back over that a little bit. But uh, you know, definitely uh, testing this out for <laughs> this is the test here. You know, um, the quick foam just kind of came to mind. Uh, maybe that's more specific to this particular problem where there's a extreme depth. So in other words, caulk. You know, the deeper, so if caulk gets to be an inch thick, it's probably going to just fail. <laughs> it just won't cure right, it won't set up right. So the idea is to try to have a nice consistent half inch bead. So you know, I put one uh, can of quick foam, that took almost a full can from one end to the other. And uh, I'm going to let that set up. It's going to, you know, expand for the next hour or so. And I'm going to let it fully expand and I'll see if I maybe want to... Um, add something more some more foam to it but I definitely don't want it foaming out over the top of the crack you know because uh, then I gotta clean up the edges and the idea is that we want to bond you know here to the the two edges just for the first half an inch and the rest of the depth should be filled with something that's uh, consistent and maybe waterproof or water resistant that's definitely waterproof and it's sticky enough to to make some kind of seal all right come back here with a final video when I get this thing all set up all right smalljobsdenver.com handyman projects arvada colorado all right welcome back to our handyman arvada project here sealing some concrete and so you can see that i actually came back and you know after like uh, actually digging out uh the the higher side of that first can i really elected to like tape off and then really like uh come in here and put a second can in and kind of uh you know, the, I, the whole point of this is just to have as thin of a, a bead and consistent bead from one side to the other and not have it be, you know, like, uh, you know, an inch deep in some places and, and, uh, and it's already going to be an inch wide. It's like three quarters of an inch to an inch in some places. And you can see that it's not very uniform in some places. It's actually concrete is higher on a lip. Okay, and uh, and really, it's already cracked here, and so you know, obviously, it's going to have some places where it's going to be funky, but the idea is to try to make it as uniform as possible, so that the caulk itself 
will uh, still be within what the manufacturer here's uh, you know range is or at least as close as possible to that range to try to get this thing to uh, to actually uh, take and last more than you know a, a couple of years so I think uh, what I did here is actually gonna last some time so I'm gonna come back uh, extract a little bit of this foam and get it prepped uh, to put some really uh, the highest end sealant that, that I could find and it would be this stuff right here so yeah fortunately there's not too many other choices uh, the other product I saw was like uh, really it was a, a three quarter inch or one inch gap three quarter inch half inch and so, um, yeah, the idea is to try to get it to stay flexible. So, uh, and ultimately, you know, another thing is, you know, it, it can't be recessed too much because then it would still collect ice and, and or, you know, like, yeah, ice and snow. And the idea is to try to keep the ice and snow, you know, the, the, the water collection there, you know, out of there completely so that, uh, um, you know, like it doesn't crack. Anyway, come back here in just a minute. Show you uh, uh, probably the the caulking side of things. All right, smalljobsdenver.com. All right, here we are. And so it wasn't quite set up. Yeah, you know, maybe it was like an hour into the quick foaming, the second coat. And so uh, it still actually is, you know, drying. And so I just pulled off like the the kind of like sticky kind of dry top side and uh and i'm gonna let this sit for like another hour or so and actually cure up you know i want it at a full cure um so it's foamy and not sticky so uh yeah i think it's actually right where it's got to be see that that is much closer right and i'm gonna go through and pick out any high high little hills in there and then i'm gonna come through and really hook this thing up and I'm expecting a pretty nice result except for like in places where like there's high concrete obviously I'm gonna yeah it's gonna look a little funny I think but uh it will be sealed and so this is about, about the only way I could think of to really permanently seal this because it you know not just the caulk is gonna make a seal now the actual foam is making a seal too look how sticky that is I mean literally you know I don't think you can get water through that. And so I think that's the ultimate goal is just to stop the water, you know, penetration altogether. And so uh, give it a shot. See what happens. Let this little kind of expand here and cure for another hour or so. Um, come back, show you here probably the final result. Smalljobsdenver.com. Handyman Arvada. All right, welcome back. Smalljobsdenver.com. Our Arvada Handyman Project here. Sealing some concrete crack cracks. And so, uh, yeah, there you go. That's that self-leveling stuff. Turned out all right. And that was like uh, six tubes, seven tubes. I'll have to count it. It was a lot, about seven bucks a tube. That's like uh, $50 and then the foam. Yeah, $60 in materials already. Just on that. Wow. Anyway, looks pretty good. Sealed it up really nice. So, uh, yeah, I think that's got it. All right, smalljobsdenver.com, Arvada Handyman.